You sure do like to show your opinions, talking big like somebody's listening. Nobody's listening. Childhood friendship can sometimes give us memories that we adore and sometimes they might even be bittersweet one. Either way this genre is the perfect way to relive it all. Sadly most of us are not lucky enough to have those sweet teenage years of our life. For that here are some shows where childhood friends end up becoming lovers. Make sure you reach till the end and let me know which childhood friendship you are rooting for the most. We start our list with Just Because. Nostalgia is one of the better feelings of school even for those who may not have had the best moments of their high school years. Our MC Izumi has just transferred into a high school back in his hometown. On the cusp of graduation, his future is assured with a paid scholarship to a top university, with graduation being all that's left for him. However our MC meets Haruto, a former baseball teammate and his love interest Mio. This love triangle becomes a polygon as other members join the party. Each of them pushes each other forward but with all this romance blooming. The final days of graduation are coming and with that, will everyone get their loved ones? Maybe it's whatever, or this long gone, it don't matter. Number 9 Cross Game The tale is as old as time. Two families bond by a sport, and because their kids are of the same age, they ended up growing together, in which our MC and the girl next door love each other so much. They started to have plans for their future. However, due to a twisted fate, the female lead died in a swimming accident. Don't worry it's not a major spoiler this all happens in the first episode, and the other 49 episodes are for the main story. Female character also has a little sister who happens to have a crush on our MC as well. Technically they were all childhood friends so no matter who he picks, there is no wrong answer. This is a show where childhood friendship must win, and there is no other way around. Oh, oh I just... <coughs> Number 8 Chemicus Pure Rouge We are no strangers to people leaving town for a while then coming back to their childhood friends. In general it's the boy who leaves and not the girl. As for the case with Chemicus, three childhood friends who are reunited after many years apart. Our female character Mal moved to France for a few years, and when she returned she burst into her friend's house as if she lived there. Her parents agree to let her live alone with her childhood friends. Now all three of them reunite after two years apart and they are going to attend the same high school together, where they experience the ups and downs of high school and love. There is also a love triangle involved to keep the story entertained. Overall it's a great show if you want to see how relationships progress and change with time. Number 7 Anonymous Noise Childhood romance with a love triangle always brings a somewhat different vibe to it. As for Anonymous Noise it has a rather unique character design and a musical-driven story. A girl named Nino, wearing a mask, stands by the beach and sings a nostalgic melody. For the promise she made with two of her childhood friends. A boy named Yuzu who composed the music and her first love named Momo. All of them individually promised to help Nino continue her music journey. Now after six years apart all of them reunite in the same high school. With time many things have changed in their lives. Though one thing that remains the same is music and with a complicated love triangle they continue their musical journey in their high school years. It's so fun and games and till it doesn't toss me out I'll hit the ignition Are you less fun? Number 6 I've Always Liked You if only life was as simple as a Disney high school movie, where everyone is meant to be for someone and the side character is meant for no one. Similarly in Sekura Ga Oka High School, our female character Natsuki mustered up the courage to confess to her childhood friend, whereas her little brother has feelings for his sister's love interest little sister. Simple rule of equal love exchange. In the whole movie we get to see both couples desperately attempt to get their loved ones, and the side characters whose feelings have never been answered. The whole story is divided into two movie sequels. Feels like a failed attempt of creating a romance movie by Honey Works. However the animation quality is top notch and is the reason why I completed these movies.
Number 5 Tamako Market Before getting into the story, let me clarify a few things. I haven't watched any episode of the series. The review is based on the movie version only. Two families run a mochi shop in a shopping district of Usagi-yama. Tamako is the oldest daughter who knows everything about mochi, whereas Machiju had some other plans for the future. Both grew up together in the same neighborhood and had feelings for each other. In their high school MC tries his best to hide his feelings. Things change when our MC decides to go to Tokyo for further education. For those who are in the market for cute couples, Tamako Market is something you need to look for. The story is simple and does not try to be a masterpiece or anything. Its only goal is to provide an overdose of cuteness. Number 4 True Tears At first glance it looks like a normal high school story. But from the title something needs to be tricky right. Our MC Nakagami is exceptionally good at drawing. His dream is to become an artist. Living along with his childhood friend Hiromi. Who they took in a year ago because her father passed away. Although she is good at school she can't get familiar with her new foster family. With the involvement of chicken loving Isurugi. Story turns into a love triangle. It has a good amount of potential. But due to some character it annoys me from time to time. The story reminds me of a show like Sing Yesterday to me. However not everyone will end up hating true tears like me. Number 3 Nyan Koi Let me ask you something are you a cat person or a dog? I know it is a subjective topic but what if I tell you there are people who don't like any of these? And our MC Junpei is one of those, allergic to cats. However her whole family is a cat lover including the girl he had a crush on. Her family is a dog lover. Well, I guess different families have different problems. One day while passing a local shine, our MC attempts to throw an empty tin can into a bin. The shot misses and instead it ends up hitting a statue. Now in return for his mistake our MC needs to fulfill 100 cat wishes or else in return he turns into a cat. At first glance this seems to be a cat-obsessed show. Apart from Cat's comedy is another plus point Nyan Koi has, including some pants-down moments. Number 2 Myself Yourself Personally, for a show as old as this one, I know many people will turn a blind eye on it. However, the feeling I get while watching this is something I want you to try yourself and let me know what you think. Our MC Sana who moved back to his hometown after five years of being apart, due to his parents' business plan, he was surprised to see nothing much has changed. But the childhood promise he made to Nanaka, not only did he forget the promise, but her whole existence. Now our MC tries to help her and promises to stay by her side. The story is rather simple. However the dramatic touch they add to make the story is quite interesting. In the end the story is majorly focused on romance. And with that the ending it has was quite satisfying. Last on the list we have 5 centimeters per second. An underrated masterpiece created by Makoto Shinkai. A film broken up into three parts, covering the childhood and young adult life of our MC. Two friends, Takai and Akari, became best friends in elementary school and our MC started to have feelings for her. Unfortunately due to Akari's parents' job, she had to move to the other side of Japan. Both decided to stay in contact. However the distance will go larger and we get to see their desperate attempt, wanting to keep their connection alive. In addition, movies capture the essence of young love. No matter how old we get and how far we are, the feeling for the first love never faded away. Throughout the screenplay you will keep routing for them, asking for a happy ending they both deserve. Will they get one? Well that would be a spoiler which I want you all to find yourself. It's safe to assume that we all weebs never get to experience such sweet childhood high school memory. However if you are a lucky rare case, then give me a high five in the comments section. With that if you find something interesting to put into your watchlist, then how about giving this video a like and subscribe for more. As for now I take my leave and see you in the next one. Peace.